So when we put together this summer school, actually, we had two objectives in our mind. The first one was to really favor the training of students that are actually either students or postdocs that are actually doing the training in a lab or in a group working in the field of multiple sclerosis, but to train them in a different field, something that will be complementary to what they're learning right now, what they're being trained in uh, within their own program right now. So that was something to, I would say, broaden the, 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 the knowledge about multiple sclerosis and something different than what they're doing right now. So that was the first objective, so training them in a different field. And the, the end goal of that first objective is that at least at the end of these two days, if they can read scientific papers about this topic and can understand what's going on and understand the, the science behind, in that case, that will help them just to understand better the field. So that first one is really training. The second one was to favor networking. So actually, we will have 32 students in the next two days from coast to coast from Canada. It's not only science, it's also networking knowing people, young uh, you know, researchers, this is the opportunity to make a connection with them, you know, who, what is he doing. So nowadays the research is not only individual work, it's a group team work, a holistic approach. For that reason, now we learn the science part of the MS, the clinical part of the MS, at the same time we know with the people, and gradually we can do things together, something, you know, tangible. I came to Montreal to do my postdoctoral uh, fellowship and before that I was working with neuroimmunology and if you are working with neuroimmunology you have to be aware of the work that is done in MS and because in MS you have different tools if you are studying it uh, you can understand better how the neuroimmunological responses take place in a person. So because of that and because the knowledge that there is in this disease, uh, I decided to come here and contribute uh, to the development of the research that Montreal has on MS. So what are we going to teach? What kind of, um, I would say, wet lab, you know, we could teach them within two days because we thought that we should not go over too many days at the beginning. So two days, what can we teach? So was a lot of the organization and planning. So what would be within the, 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 the information during these two days, actually. So this is that was my role, actually, I was really involved into that. And also to prepare uh, not only the teaching part, but also to prepare all our teaching assistants that are going to be with us because the students are going to learn not only what we call sitting in a regular classroom, but it will also have wet lab teaching. So to do that, we need to have a lot of teaching assistants with us because we really want to have them to learn what we call hands-on. So to, you know, pipettes and do real experiments in a lab. So that's why we enrolled a lot of our students and postdocs to be teaching assistants with us. So that was to also to prepare them, to tell them what we're going to do, how do we, you know, make protocols all together to make sure that all the students are going to receive the same kind of teaching in the coming two days.